driving automated vehicles in complex conditions. And I will especially be talking about the implications of this. So how are we going to deal with it? And um, um, if you uh, put it uh, uh, bluntly, there are two ways of moving forward. It's making our environment simple or making our vehicles uh, uh, smarter. So these are, um, um, but uh, um, when you look at it more closely, it's, uh, it's more complicated. And you see also the picture here, um, people looking at this very fancy uh, Mercedes futuristic uh, uh, vehicle. Um, but it's some interest, but also a kind of suspicion. And uh, uh, let's uh, see how that, uh, that works. So a bit about myself, it's already been, uh, been introduced. Um, and uh, maybe to add to the uh, introduction, here's my, my career span also. Uh, actually, I started my work as a mathematical engineer. So I like to cast things into formulas and, and models. Um, my research interview uh, interest is about um, advanced uh, transportation. Uh, traditionally a lot on automated, but also uh, connected and electric. And increasingly what we also see is the spatial implications. So what if we could really redefine our roads and our, our environment based on these new technologies? Would we make a better world uh, uh, doing that? So uh, without further ado, let's move on then. Um, this is my current context. So uh, hello world from, uh, from Delft. Uh, this is my view. When I look uh, um, above my screen, this is uh, what I see. I believe uh, we all have a similar experience in, in this, this. So I hope in the future uh, we'll be able to, uh, to meet in person. Uh, so let's start with a, a first poll and uh, let's see how it works. So, um, and I'll give you time to look at it and I'll ask the organization to put up the poll. Can you please do that for me? It's okay, done. I see the poll in progress on my screen. You... So um, it's essentially about the, the state of field of automated driving at the moment, right? So uh, you could say that um, we have level two automation. It's the low hanging fruit in the field of automated driving. But now things are going really difficult and maybe even messy. So what do we need to do? So do we make the human smarter about when to use automated driving and when not? Or do we need to make the vehicle smarter and in intensify the R&D? Or should we 